So now we have learned how the RCNN network works. The authors of RCNN, what they did is they did some experiments on the network to get a deeper understanding of what exactly is happening within. And to do these experiments, what they did is they eliminated the bounding box proposal and they also removed the fine tuning of region proposals. So now you have a network that is just pre-trained on ImageNet and you are using SVM for the classifier. And in their first round of experiment, they eliminated the FC6 and FC7 layers. They directly used the feature map which is flattened to a one dimensional vector. Since AlexNet has 5 convolution and pooling layers, this output is referred to as pool 5. And when they connected the pool 5 layer directly to the last fully connected network, they were able to get the same amount of accuracy that they would have got by using the FC6 and FC7 layers also. So this shows that most of the accuracy that they got in this part of the network is because of the convolution layers and these layers are hardly adding any value to the network. So if you go back to the discussion on the model size, we discussed that for AlexNet network, all the convolution layers put together will need some 3.7 MB of memory for the model size. And the fully connected layers themselves will need around 192 MB. So you can imagine the amount of memory you will be saving by eliminating the FC6 and FC7 layers. However, when they did the fine tuning, that is by fine tuning the network on the warped proposals, they had a different uh, story. What happened in this case was, when they directly connected the pool file layer to the output, they were not able to increase the accuracy to a great extent. It just increased from 44 to 47%. But instead, when they used both the fully connected layers, this time, they were able to get the increase in accuracy by almost 10%. So here the understanding is that when you are doing the fine tuning, these weights, the weights in the convolution layer are not getting updated to a great extent. And most of the updates are happening in the fully connected layers. And the in improvement in accuracy is mostly coming from these layers. So that's another interesting observation. Also they did more experiments by just eliminating the FC7 layer. Instead of eliminating both the FC6 and FC7, they just eliminated the FC7 layer. So with this, without fine tuning, they were able to get an accuracy of around 46%. But after doing the fine tuning, they were able to get an accuracy of 53%. So this FC7 layer itself, all by itself, it will consume almost 29% of the model size. So if you are able to get the comparable levels of accuracy here, you might as well eliminate this layer completely. This is more of a foot for thought, something that we can keep in mind to ponder over for future purposes. Maybe if you are working on it uh, practically and you feel that in any of your network, if the fully connected layer is uh, taking a lot of uh, model size and also the computation time, you might do some experiments to see if you can eliminate some of those layers and still achieve comparable accuracy. If so, you will be saving a lot of uh, computation time and also the memory required for the model size. So that's about the experiments on RCNN network. Remember that for all these experiments, I am not using the bounding box proposal and I am not using the VGGNet architecture. They just did the experiments on the AlexNet architecture with and without fine tuning.